Hello, uh, this is my first saltwater aquarium. I've always had fresh water and I decided to step up. My aquarium is now almost three months old and I must say that I love this hobby. I'm absolutely in, in love with it. Matter of fact, I uh, want to give a special uh, uh, shout out to New York Stilo, gave me tons of great advice. Rob at Exotic Aquatic in Fort Lauderdale, Larry at Eco Reef in Pompano because they've all been a great help and obviously you got to put your time in and do research but everyone's got their own view so researching can get confusing. I uh, This aquarium was fully cycled in two weeks and all I used was live sand and live rock. I kid you not. Then I, um, I actually couldn't believe it. I was like in two weeks uh, I was very surprised. Um, those are, I have three clowns, two blood oranges, one black and white. There goes the black and white guy right there. That's my buddy. That's Oreo. Got a sand sifting goby right there. And I must say that everything is doing really good. I have my own test kit. I enjoy doing it myself. Um, there goes a flame angel. I just picked him up. Gotta be careful, obviously, because I want to do a lot of, uh, I want to do more coral from here on out. And matter of fact, um, the way I aquascape this is I was thinking of putting some corals here on the tips there I got this arc right here and it's like a base I'm gonna put maybe a couple pieces there maybe something here and on my uh, tungsten rock as well something there eventually I was thinking about putting a plate right here or here I just picked up this candy cane yesterday and it is amazing. The, the green on this thing is just so rad. And I'm so happy with my zoanthid colony that I got here. Everyone, all the zoos look just awesome. I uh, I went with this piece because there's pinks, there's greens, there's blues, there's reds. I was just very impressed. And I said, you know what? I loved it, so I took it. From here on out, I might buy one piece a month and eventually get an enemy so they can host uh, you know my clowns and look at this damsel I mean you think just a damsel but this is a sapphire damsel and the color on this guy is just it just pops it's just beautiful you know I got a couple of those guys in there they got a really good cleanup crew uh, they, they do a great job a couple peppermint shrimp you know just you know as far as the in case if anything comes with Intasia but they're doing good they're thriving actually one of them have eggs has eggs, so I'm thinking that they might die. Uh, from what I've heard, they lay their eggs and die. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. But yeah, this is my 90 gallon system. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, you can ask. I'm really not the guy to ask. This is new to me. Oh, and as far as my lighting system, I'm running uh, two Kessel A360 Narrows, and I must say that I absolutely love these lights. I mean, look at the shimmer effect that you're getting just with the LEDs. I mean, you can see that fish look happy. Everything looks great, you know. And I hope this aquascape comes out looking even better once I start adding things to it from here on out. But the aquariums, I'm just so happy with how everything went. Oh, before I forget, this is actually my uh, pride and joy, my subterfugium. You know, I put my dump on this side and my return on the other side. I've noticed everyone does it opposite, but I figured it's easier for the pump to just shoot it straight up and, and opposed to having it travel across. Anyways, that's just what I thought, so I tried it. Um, the eShop's protein skimmer is doing great. I emptied it out late last night. It looks awesome. Um, it was actually going ballistic for like five days, but it finally came down after a while and it, it looks good. It's, it's doing a great job. I got two bags of Miracle Mud with my Kato Morpha. Kato Morpha is thriving in there, getting big. And, um, but yeah, you can actually see here, this is my test kit. I check it out every other day, uh, and it's just on point. I got a refractometer. Um, I must say that it's accurate and it's awesome. And uh, my water is at 102.4 right now, so that's pretty good from what I know as far as, you know, the research that I've done. But I really hope you guys like this video. Please like it so I know that you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, if you got any feedback for me, I'm open. 
i'll listen i'm all ears and i'm down to learn more thank you